okay, I see people out here with the Target carts, bro. Uh, so you are you all watching this feed? No, not right now. I am. I am. I've been watching. I've been watching that bottom corner unicorn rise since last night. I was watching that all night because I was waiting on the National Guard to come in to see how crazy that was about to get. Mm. Yeah, man. Um, the U.S. is burning right now, Big Doug. Yeah, it's definitely a different time. Fire. On fire, bro. Yeah. And so... Uh, San Jose's got the freeway took over. You got a Jason mask over here, homie. Um Ooh. It, 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 it's going, man. It's San Jose. We got San Jose. We got Oakland. We got Dallas. Dallas. LA. 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 LA is moving right now. Yeah. I'm surprised. Welcome you're not to the You, Me, and Mr. C show. I'm Steve. Oh, what up, y'all? How we doing? What up? What up, man? Just yes. watching the smoke. Yeah. Watching oh. the smoke. Hey, oh, I you know. You know, trying to. Do my best to deal with this bullshit that's out here in America right now. Uh, you know what I mean? That's cool. How we doing, gentlemen? I mean, look, man, it, like like we all been saying, man, it's 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 a heavy time right now. We're looking at this feed of all the stuff that's going on. It's uprising. That's what happened, right? People are just fed up with all the shit that's going on this decade, yeah. generation, generation. So how I mean, besides all that, let's let I mean if you could block it out for a second to start this show, gentlemen. Uh, welcome to show 129 of the Yumi and Mr. C show. Thank you for checking us out on YouTube. You all, we appreciate that. And please let Thank people you. know to subscribe, like to our channel, the Yumi and Mr. C show. But that's right. Mess with us. Yeah, mess with us. But gentlemen, how are we feeling right now, man? Um, you know, two weeks ago, we were talking about this shit. Yep. We were saying as men, microaggressions, how do we deal with that shit? How do you deal with seeing a, a black man murdered? How do, you, how do you deal with continuing to see men of color murder and how do you respond to that shit but but now we are two weeks later gentlemen and, and we mentioned uh u.s is burning right now um just first thoughts first thoughts on all this shit one i'm gonna just jump right in and say i'm enjoying this for two reasons i'm mm -hmm. still working and hold on, hold on. What it's are you what enjoying? i want what are you enjoying the fact that i'm working and okay. that this is what i wanted to see Flat out. But why do you want to see it? I mean, well, I mean look, why man, do I want to see it? I disagree with you. Look, at, I'm, I'm, just, I'm a moderator. Because, but what, what do you like about it? I like the fact that it, it, it's just pointing out, it, it's, it's one, putting us in a position to just, we, like, we tried the peaceful route. We tried, the, we, we tried the talk it out route. We tried the peaceful march route. We want to, now we burn the shit down. There's no and option. I'm okay with that. I'm okay that. with that. that because guess what? I'm um, guess what? We took the baby steps. We walk in yep. yep. and then guess what's gonna happen next? We are gonna run, and I'm with that. Whatever the next part to get into the run, let me just with that okay. right here. Yeah. Okay. I mean, Steve, how you feeling, Big Doug? I mean, you're yeah. not, you're Steve. You're not the that I've known you since sixth grade, Big Doug. Let me <laughs> let me say something to people that don't know Steve. -o. That's right. In sixth grade, bro. This motherfucker has speed. Like when there was fights, gone, homie. Did not stay there. This homie is is the peaceful type. Running That's away, from, but running behind, away from you, the fade, huh? How are you feeling right now, Big Doug, with everything going on? It's just sad, man. It's sad how like where it has to be a human per, a human being has to be put to a position where there's no option, man, but to just walk forward and, and kind of take uh take take it into their own hands you know and so it's gonna be brutal man but like it's coming you know the war in the war in justice is it's it's finally no more no more no more peaceful thoughts no more peaceful minds it's it's um it's a reactionary thing that we gotta we gotta face you know and that's that's how that's how they want us to be, you know, brutal, unfear, no more fear in this shit. <coughs> I'm, I'm going to ask you a question in a second, but JP, how you feeling, Big Doug? Man, you know what? I'm, man. They just, they just got a live, 
they just got a live broadcast back at the White House now, but it's on Fox, but I don't know. I'm I'm frustrated, bro. I've been frustrated, man. A couple shows ago when we talked about shit, the whole Ahmaud Aubrey situation, bro, it's like it's like every day, bro, it's just like something. It's like I, I will say this though. You know, God rest his soul, George Floyd. But I feel like this is I'm hoping that this is the one, bro. This is the 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 straw that broke the camel's back. I'm hoping that this is the one, bro, because it was blatant as fuck. Yeah. On video, bro. Yeah. How that man got his life taken away. Blatant as fuck, bro. Like what fucking more evidence do you need, bro? Like you seen what the fuck happened. You yeah. seen it on video, bro, and you know, it's sad that he had to lose his life. But I, I, I'm hoping that this is the one that makes America realize, bro, or most of most of America realize how fucked up we've been treated, bro, as people of color. And that's some fucked up shit, right? Like, that's that's for me, right? That's how I feel because it, it, it's like, isn't it fucked up, gentlemen, to be in a situation where, like, our people are being murdered, dog. Like our people, like like men are fucking being murdered. Men that we think could be us. When we go on that drive, we go to 7-Eleven, we go to pick up a burger, some shit, right? We go to our parents' house. Like we could be the motherfuckers that are stopped by the cops and because you look at them funny, bro. But what I'm saying, my point to this, because we already talked about the microaggressions, right? Like there's a lot of shit we could talk about. My shit is this, is like, why do we have to be like, I hope this is the one, right? What a, what a fucked up life it is for us, man. When we have to say, they got him. They got him this time, bro. Like, we did bro. it with fucking Rodney King. Bunch of shit, right? Like, that shit happened in Watts in 65, bro. Homie was dragged out of his fucking car for little shit. Like, a little infraction. Was beaten, yeah. beaten, right, dog? And that's why you had the Watts uprising. Then it happened. Yeah. In, so my shit is like, bro, we've been going through this shit for a lot of us that are in our 30s already. We're like, since 92, bro, like, I remember being a fucking kid. We had a fucking curfew because of after that, the, the, the South LA, South Central uprising, bro. And it's like, yep. since then, bro, you don't think that we grew up thinking, like, every time we see a man of color killed, that we say, mm -hmm. this has got to be it. Is this, you know? is this the next? Is this what's about to happen? Yeah. Yeah, how, you're absolutely how, right. How the fuck did this turn into the lotto, bro? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yep. like how did it turn? How did, how did our us as men of color or people of color getting justice turned into the fucking lotto, bro. Yep. We're like, hey, this is it. This time is it, yeah, bro. Yeah, they they yeah. did it. This, this is the fucking winning ticket right here. Like, yeah. It's, no, it's, it's, the, hand, it's the hands we were dealt, bro. Yeah. It's the hand we were dealt. Not anymore, though. I mean, that's, that, and, that's why I'm ha and that's why I'm happy to see it, because if we got a slow crawl yep. to a nice steady walk to run our asses off, this yep. is the steps. I'm willing to. I'm willing to walk it. Yeah, yep. and, and and we'll move into we'll move into the 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 old stuff segment right now, Steve. Oh, we'll get your cue right now. But but my thing on this JPI, I, I I we talked about this a little bit earlier today. We said, you know, for me, I I didn't feel that whole taking a knee on shit because I I agree with you on this one, JP. That I thought this this you know, the the you know George Floyd situation was like. That shit was on purpose, bro. When you see the image of the other side, the back to the police officers that, that murdered his ass, like, it, I told JP, it's almost like, bro, like, if you're in that situation, you got to look at your fucking partners and be like, we're doing this? Yeah, we're doing this, bro. Yep. Yeah. Hold. 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 Yep. Hold. You can tell in their body language, you know? Yeah, they're really pushing, enjoying that shit. Pushing on riot shields. What's up? I'm just watching. I'm watching this. I'm okay, sorry. I thought, you I'm said sorry. I'm I thought you said Nickerson. No, but no, no, no. Oh, uh, because that was that's very close over here. Um, but that's my shit, gentlemen. Like, like I, I, I think I think it's blatant. I think to a certain extent, people are being baited, you know. Um, but and we could talk a lot of shit, man, about what we've seen of the hypocrisy of the racist and all that shit. Where homegrown a wheelchair, pretending she's paraplegic. 
being outside of a target, then trying to shank people. And then there's video that comes out that she, homegirl could walk, right? But she was really trying to shank right. black people, right? But then kind of coming out on camera and saying, they beat me, they beat me, I'm in a wheelchair, you know? And then they caught her later at night, getting off her wheelchair, trying to fucking chase people down and shit, right? And then you have- That under- racist bitch at the park, you know what I mean? Calling the cop on that man as he was bird watching. So I'm asking that bitch to put her dog on a leash, bro. We caught that whole on video, bro. Trying to make it seem, using her fucking privilege to make it seem as if that black man was threatening her. And that's the shit, man. Right. And then you have undercover police officers, right? Actually being the ones that are inciting the looting, inciting the fucking destroying private property, right? So preach. All this shit to say, Steve, we'll take us into our next section, Big Doug. Old stuff. It is old stuff, gentlemen. I mean, again, I asked you at the beginning of the episode, how do you all feel about this shit, right? But let's go back to the shit that we talked about two weeks ago. What does that make you want to do inside? What does that make you feel like? This is my next question in terms of old stuff, microaggressions, all this shit. Give me an emotion that you're feeling right now. Not a reaction, an emotion. Anxiety. Anxiety. Steve-O? Fear. 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 JP? Um, man, I don't know. That's a tough one for me, bro. I'm feeling... I'm feeling so overwhelmed right now, bro. Overwhelmed. And I'm feeling a little scared. Nah. Okay. And then the moment I'm going to give you an opportunity to elaborate on that shit. Because I asked you for an emotion and you made it very clear. Now, anybody want to elaborate on what that word meant to you or why you feel that way? I mean, I... I'll, I'll kick it off. I, I feel overwhelmed because right now I have so many different emotions going through my body right now. So many different emotions. And we talked about this, like as, as pissed off as I am about the whole situation is, and as, as much as I, I, I want to go and take my anger uh, and frustrations onto the streets I know that if I do it the way that I feel that it needs to be done, that will be, that's, that'll basically be my last day on earth, straight up. It'll be my last day on earth, you know? And that's me taking that sacrifice, bro. And I have that struggle every day, bro. Like, I, like you know, like I want to go out there, but, bro, they talk about gangs the police they got the biggest gang out there bro and we can't do shit about it can't do shit about it the only person that can protect us from the police is the police it's the only it's the only only thing and i i say that i also say that to fucking put pressure on other police officers that could just sit there and watch a man getting fucking choked to death and not do nothing about it. Because as soon as we step in, as soon as we step in, bro, we getting the same fucking treatment and we can't do shit about it. Thank God. Nowadays we have fucking, you know, camera phones, you know what I mean? And we could record the fucking lynching that is taking place this day. But that's the only other way, bro. That's the only other way. Forty, jump in here, but also start with your explanation of what what you felt. I mean, it's just a matter of anxiety and just just anxiousness because I want to see one one. I want to see just being real how far this is going to go. And yeah. and where us as people will take this because we have absorbed a lot micro 
aggressions. And that, and again, like you said, they always tick away at you, chip, 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 until we get to this point. So one, I'm anxious because I want to see how this is going to play out and how dangerous it is and how far it spreads and who gets affected by it. And then two, it, having to do something about it, I have an, I, I got plans about it, and that's probably what I'm really anxious about. I, I have I have an idea that I want to share with with the audience, but that and that's but again what I'm feeling anxious about. Okay, but you got something you you were you gonna respond to JP or that was just your thought? That was just my thought. Like I'm I'm with you because like how can the cops sit there and then be on one side? and then not make a decision like you're a human being and you know uh, you know i hear you jp i'm with you yeah steve-o me uh oh shit. fear fear because just fearful of, of um just families being torn apart you know because you know your family's losing a you know a, a son a sis you know a daughter it'll be a sister you know a child and so uh, this get, this bringing me to the point of what um, Mr. Forty said of teaching our youth, you know, the next generation to, or or just teaching it's it's us as parents um, that we gotta teach our kids how to, um, you know, respect each other, you know, and so and, and, you gotta build that youth, from this. yeah, and grow from from this. Like, you know, it's gonna take a lot of time, and I know it's 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 hurtful, and it's it's, you know, it's um you know, emotions flare, you know, and you're going to react and you're going to, you know, you're going to hit a boiling point. And so we got to just, um, hey, hey, let me, let me, let me also cut in there real quick. Cause mm -hmm. old stuff, side note, it's still a virus going on outside y'all. That's true. That's true. And there are yeah. mass gatherings, pro like, yep. I don't know what to say. Like, there, I, I can run wild with conspiracy theories if we want to go on that old stuff tangent. Like, it, it to me, this is just so volatile. And I, I, yeah, and I think, uh, Steve, are you done with your point, Big Doug? So yeah, just right. be safe. That was my last yeah, point. Yeah, be yeah, safe right. and wear your fucking mask, everybody. Yeah, Steve, follow the basic rules. Yeah, yeah, I'm done. Okay. Yeah, I mean, for me, like I say, scared, right? I think for me, like. um I mentioned to some of you all, right? Like, for me, like, I've been through some shit in my life um, in terms of understanding what the world is kind of going through right now. And so I know what the powers that be to a certain extent would be willing to do to take you out. But, so I'm not afraid for me, right? But I, but I fear the same things you fear, Steve-O. I fear the same things you all fear in this, on, this, on this call, right? It, it's that I don't, I'm interested to see how far, bro, because as an organizer, as somebody that has been dedicated to this for like over half my life, like we get tired of this shit, bro. And especially those folks that have experiences, right? And so a lot of us just want to test the waters. But then at one certain point, we know that we could be baited in the same way you say JP and you agreed on 40, is that we're not the biggest gang, we're not the biggest group, you know what I'm saying? And so it, it, and we're not, and we're not equally armed. No, we're not. And so for me, my fear is how far and I'm scared because what it what it's gonna take when we've seen this stuff before. But then also my thing too, right, is we gotta push people to change the narrative. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't all have to be physical. I understand the physical part is a part of that social change and that paradigm shift, you know what I'm saying? But I think the people have shown already that if we wanna fuck shit up, we could fuck shit up. So I think, I think it's fair to go back to the table and maybe bargain some shit. But until then, it's going to be very difficult. You know what I'm saying? And so I hope, I hope that the collective leadership that we're developing right now around all this shit, that we're, we, we're talking together. Because that's my shit, man. I'm an organizer and I'm ready to talk to some people. You know what I'm saying? No. Whoever, whoever's running the shit in LA, I want to be in those discussions because I want to be informed. You know what I'm saying? And I want to know if you're going to take it far, how far are you going to take it? Because I don't want to be caught up in the middle of that stuff without understanding what my place or my role is in all of this, right? I'm not the violent type at all, but I understand violence is necessary sometimes. You know what I'm saying? 
Um, so, but I, but also 40 on that COVID-19 point, it, it is, it is the life of a person of color, bro. In, 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 in poetry right there, bro. In essence, us fighting for our fucking liberation and our livelihood in the midst of a fucking pandemic. Yeah. Like if that's if that, if multiple that, fronts, multiple fronts. If that's not our lives, bro. If that's not our lives, I don't know what is, bro. You could replace COVID and liberation with two different things that have happened simultaneously in our lives that we've had to put up with. In the middle of a fucking pandemic, bro. In the middle of a fucking pandemic, right? This shit still don't stop. So, gentlemen, we're gonna. I'm gonna move us to our main topic for today. And the main topic for today is. Can we, can we hit a hot button question to just lighten it up real quick? Let's go. Hit us up with that hot button question. All right. I just happened to hear this on my on my route, so I just wanted to discuss this with y'all. Hey, um, have y'all ever? What's what's the best excuse that you have used when coming too fast? Mm. Coming too fast where? Mm. In the bedroom. Repeat that question. What's the best excuse you've used when coming too fast in the bedroom? Mm. God damn, good, man. It's been a while. <laughs> yeah, uh, I know, I, I know. We, we, we've all we've all had plenty of time to think about this. Yeah, I know we've all had plenty of time to think about this. That's what I say. That's what I would say. That's what I would say. That's what I would say. It's been a while. Uh, oh, oh, it's been a while. I see. Got you. That's mine. Got you. Bada bing. Okay. It it's okay. been a while. Okay. It has. Okay. Okay. You hit him with. You hit him with the. Uh, that's how much I love you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right, Steve. Oh, so that's yeah. You you aroused me that much that I, I can't handle my semen. <laughs> <laughs> You didn't have to see though. That was funny. Yeah. <laughs> Devo? What? Oh, uh, what are you doing for the summer? That's what you say. <laughs> what? That's what you say when you're not too fast. <laughs> Next. <laughs> All right. I, I was gonna I was yeah, making, I put I mine out there, so let's make a magic question. Oh, okay, cool. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm waiting. What? That's what he says. Go ahead. Your turn, 40. Uh, uh, I actually, exactly said, I actually said one time, uh, I thought I saw something over there in the corner. Anyway, um, so let's, let's, let's go. Let's, let's roll. That, that all was right. all. All right. For our main topic, gentlemen, I do want to con- – it's, 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 it's a transition to the old stuff, but it's really saying, like, you got to pick a side, right? Oh, holy shit. That's and 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 forty is a perf- perfect example of that, right? Yeah. If you're watching all of this shit that's going on right now, gentlemen, do you feel that now people have to pick a side? Do you feel like you could be neutral in this whole situation? Can you be neutral in America? That's my big question right now, and I do want to bring it back to the police, right? But but that's my main thing. Do you all believe? that you could be neutral in this country moving forward? Nope. Why not? For you, why not? You got you to gotta, you gotta, you gotta go against the people that think differently, that nobody's in their right set of mind, you know? All right, so you don't think, you don't think we, could, we could just, there, there's like somebody that's just like, you know, I, I could see both sides to this. Probably not, not for a while. Okay. Forty, you you're not in your head, like what? Nah, nah. I don't. I don't understand. I don't understand how you could see a second side, because, like, it, there's clearly points of reference where people have been hurt, and there has been no response, and people want answers to yeah. that, and. There haven't been any, and it's boiled down all the way to the president of this country saying crazy shit to incite these actions right now. The line has been drawn in the sand long enough. You have to pick a side. 
Okay. As a human being, badge or no badge, like, okay, fine. Because we could keep going. Because we're this is the city. You want it, you want, because, because, you know what the interesting part about this is like the internet is wonderful about finding information, mm-hmm. the who, what's, the where, wins, and the why. And if cops want to continue to be on the opposite side, there will be counterpoints on the other side that will stay on the on that opposite spectrum that yeah. will force you to make decisions, whether they take you out the game or whether you come to our side or whether you figure out for yourself where you want to be. But the line in the sand has been drawn, and guess what? 45 put it there with an exclamation point last night in a tweet. Because guess what? That was that was Thursday night going into Friday. Oh, yeah. It's the weekend. We about to tear shit up all weekend. Yeah. JP. And rest on on Sunday. That's like the whole Charlottesville shit. Like, oh, some fine people out there. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, these are your thugs. These are your thugs. Yep. And and guess what? Guess what? They knocking on the White House gates right now. And that, there, dig it. That's the shit right there. So we're in consensus, right? Like you can't be neutral right now in America, right? So with it's that, not, be- it's a unanimous, bro. It's unanimous. So that, with that being said, gentlemen, what does it mean picking a side? What does it mean? And let's make this interesting, because we know who's picking what side, right? People that are either not related to cops or politicians, they might more side with the opposition right now, right? Which when I say opposition, it's kind of like racist, bigots, white supremacists, right? Unless you love them, I can't see right now why you're siding with them. You might be silent, but in your head, you're definitely not siding with these homies. And so for you all, we're not, I'm not asking you what it means for you all to choose a side. What does it mean for even, let's say, the biggest gang in this country? To pick a side, right? What is this? What does this look like? Or what should this be like, dog? For those people, like you say, JP, that they have the power to protect us. We could, we we could definitely put up a fight. But yep. as forty as forty reference, we don't have the artillery for that shit right now. We don't. We don't. So, so what does it look like for people picking a fucking side? What do you think that's gonna look like? As as I said. Previously, I think that obviously we're not the ones. Um, we're not the ones that can go and rush <coughs> head first into these battles. I will say, luckily, from what I've seen in the media, with all these riots taking place, the civil unrest that's been happening, got. Like, thank God that these police officers haven't been stupid enough to shoot or fire at these protesters. Has that happened, Forty? I ha- uh, that, that I haven't seen yet. Uh, I just, I heard I heard a report of that in Detroit or a couple about an hour and a half ago, but I don't know who shot who, what, where. But I just know that there was uh, there, I, I know- there, there was a shot fire. I know that's I know there's been like rubber bullets and like tear gas and all that shit and I understand that. Yeah, but you mean serious seriously injury. Like I mean like somebody out here really shooting Hmm? a gun back at these protesters. Thank God that hasn't happened. That allows us to continue the protest. But like I mentioned, I really think it's time for these law enforcement individuals who have a fucking heart and aren't racist towards communities of color to fucking step up. And I feel like, you know, based off of what I've heard from the news, you know, the news could be bullshit sometimes. This has been the the time that a lot of him, a, a lot of them 
have decided to speak up. And that's what I'm at least appreciating from this whole situation that you have police officers, folks that wear the badge that are clearly saying like, this is not how you detain somebody. Um, and it honestly, bro, like as much as I feel like a fucking beast of a man, fact of the matter is, bro, like if I don't have that badge on me and I attack the and I attack a police officer, like I am done, bro. I'm done. Like that is me signing my fucking death certificate, bro. So the only other person right now that can really fucking go toe to toe with these officers is another officer. That's it. You know what I mean? So I'm happy to see a lot of these officers speaking up. You feel me? But when you say pick a side, I'm hoping that within that police force or within that police department, that there are motherfuckers that are seeing this, not no bitch ass nigga like that Tal character or whatever his name was, the little Asian dude that was fucking just standing there, you know, guarding the whole situation. You know what I mean? Like, I hope that there's other motherfuckers that have fucking sympathy that wear that badge that can fucking step up to the plate and fucking correct these situations when they see an issue. Man, you said it exactly what I you said exactly what I was thinking immediately. It's the same dialogue and topic that I've been talking to folks around around my my water cooler about all week, which is if none of if this is a, a ever evolve revolving cycle. Guess who needs to look at the situation? The police. You guys, right. as a whole, need to look at what you are doing and how you are trained psychologically, what you are doing to the community. Like, it needs to be an overhaul of this whole shit. And then the other part about that is even, there's an even tougher conversation. Like, if this is not working, where we go out and burn shit and it, we then turn turn the switch off, wait for a result, don't get it, and then have to wait till we get gassed up again for this to happen again, we need to work systemically. We need to, and what does that mean? In my opinion, that means us as colored folks need to change the dynamic or the or the conversation that we have with our kids and with the youth about being having that badge wearing that badge mm -hmm. what it's supposed to mean and why why we may have to mm -hmm. sacrifice you to mm -hmm. those lions yep. because we need you to get in there right. and step the fuck up and get this shit situated so that we don't have to die in these streets. We don't have to have three men standing on motherfuckers be to, so they can feel safe. You're well, telling me it's, it's, one, it's one to three because the cops don't feel safe? That's something mental on their part. What I'm saying though, you feel like you couldn't detain that man without a fucking knee on his neck? You feel like you couldn't have detained that man? I mean, you and, you all know what and it is. And, and let's not even talk about the stuff that I didn't found out today about the personal part about that whole situation. Like the cop knew that man from outside of work. They worked and, at the same club together, right? And the fact that he was on him for two and a half minutes past when he was non-responsive, like it, it wasn't personal. Was this murder? Like, were, were the cops the on them assessors? We could go oh. on and Good. on and on and on. I'll, I'll give you this but one. But we right? need to change the narrative. No, and I, 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 with I the narrative has to change, Big Doug, and I think the culture has to change too. Look, I'll, I'll give you this one, right? Like, but it's but it's on the adults. It's no, on yeah. the adults to teach these All kids. This. But I'll but I'll touch your point, Big Doug, about the whole thing around you know, changing the training for these police and all that stuff, right? Because the God honest truth is this, right? Like, I'll give you this example. I was a student organizer when I was in college, right? And, and I want to say between 2005, 2007, 
there was there's this yearly May Day protest and march, peaceful march that happens in all parts of the country, right? And it's to recognize workers and to recognize that the U.S. is the only country that does not recognize workers or give them that time off or their or even sustainability rights, all that shit, right? That day we're, we're that day we're also protesting immigration. Bro, when people got to MacArthur Park, they were literally fucked up by police with rubber bullets, Metro Division, all that shit. And I could tell you, after that shit, like between 2005, 2007, people had meetings with Chief Bratton from LAPD, bro. They gave them like booklets of how to train your police, right? How to change the culture. And I'm telling you, bro, this 2005, when I was a young organizer, and I could almost believe, dog, since the 1900s, People have been giving playbooks to the LAPD, to the police department of how not to kill people. So that's why I'm telling you all, right? The police know. Like, it, it, tell me, gentlemen, is it a fucking mystery? Don't kill people. Nah, I'll tell is you it a mystery? Mean. Shoot, like you say, Steve-O, is it a mystery? Shoot them in, in the fucking leg instead of the back or the head. Oh, God, come on, bro. I'm you gonna know tell what I'm you. saying? So... So, so what are we fucking missing here, gentlemen? Like, what, what is it going to take? And that's what my question is here, and we've been answering it, right? What does it mean to choose a side? And obviously, we're talking about what does it mean to choose our side? Because we're on the side of liberation, equity, equality, whatever you want to say, right? Peace. Look, but look. It's not gonna, is, is it gonna, what is it going to take to get to that side? And look. 40, you're talking, I'm sorry, JP, and 40, you're talking about even going to the level of raising your kids to be in that shit and change your culture. You got to you gotta sacrifice them to the lions, bro. So, JP, what, what, what are you saying? What I was going to say is the fact of the matter is, and we know this, man, we, we both come from an organizing background. We know the, the, the fact yeah. is that yeah. there's nothing yeah. that's going to change. M16s. Unless... It's a fucking systematic change because these rules are already set in place, bro. The cops are going out there and to acting, do their job. They acting wild as fuck because they already know that they're protected by a certain law. I don't know exactly what that fucking law is. The blue code of silence, whatever the fuck it is, you feel me? Something of that nature. But there, there's a, a law or a system that is already set in place that lets them feel that they can go out there and be as reckless as they want to be, and they're good. Yeah. They're good. So hey, what let me bring... I'm sorry, go ahead, go ahead. So go what ahead. needs to fucking change is, is that, that law or that rule that, that makes them feel protected. There needs to be a fucking rule or a law in place that says that if you fucking go outside of your badge and do some actions that are above the fucking law that you will get fucking discipline, bro. That you will get discipline for that shit. That and, all and starts it, with them recognizing the situation from within. That's first what of I, all. That's, 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 that's what I'm fucking saying, too. Steve-O, I want you to get in on this, dog. What's your thoughts on all this? Hey, oh, okay, go ahead. Uh, go ahead, Steve. Uh, finish I, out, do finish wanna, out. I do have a... Oh, finish, finish, I, finish. Go ahead, go, go. I just want to throw this out there because this was something that I've, I've been having a conversation with privately. And how do we feel about the, about white folks now being in these riot videos that we see? Because I'm I'm looking and pointing at this at this video with feed we're watching and in Dallas I'm watching these two white girls taking over the personal <laughs> feed and they and they over there like fuck twelve and, and screaming and whooping and they with us. And my thing is is are we are we accepting of that? Are we are we saying thank you for that? Are we recognizing that? Are we questioning this as, as, is this suspect to us? Because I'm gonna just tell you my answer, I'm reading this now as I'm getting older and the line, and that particular line may have actually shifted because the millennials are 
I, which I, I would honestly say I'm, I'm the beginning wave of that. But on the other end of that millennial spectrum, mm -hmm. they coming out there. And the white folks is with it, and they not playing, and they 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 seem like they they are like they really allies shit. about that. So are we questioning these allies? Are we are we happy about this? What what are we thinking about that? No, I'm gonna throw the ball to you. I'm gonna throw the ball to y'all. All right, look at for me very quickly is is this look at it, since I've been organizing, my shit is this like I've been critical of white people. I've been critical of white organizers because. I've seen union organizers that are white and, and they're literally nine to five organizers, bro. Like you can, you can yeah. hang out with them during punch, the punch out, and, they'll out have, and, be, and be gone. When the lights are on and the lights are on you, you got the language, you got the narrative, you got the, you know, solidarity. But when you, we go to a happy hour after and you start fucking drinking, you start talking to that, that waiter that's brown or black in a certain way that you like to be treated. <laughs> And you don't got that like filter on you. So I've seen shit not be real. And my thing is this, we're, I mean, for me, my opinion, personally, I'm never going to get in the way of a fucking white person wanting to stand in solidarity with me. You want to be in the front lines with me? So be it. And if you want to be in front of me, so be it even more. That, I'm all for that. But for you to get in that shit on your own and not be in line with me and not following my lead, that's a different mm -hmm. story. And, and trust me on this when I say this, Black Lives Matter, grassroots organizing, grassroots law, all the influencers that are part of this organizing, even the celebrities that are involved in this, they have a fucking plan. They have a fucking plan. And their plan is crisp. And it also is within the system as well to also pressing the system. And I believe that they know how to do it without inciting violence and also without putting themselves in a position. So if you're a white person, fall in line with that shit. But for all these homies that are starting all this shit on their own and all these under, undercover cops that are also acting as protesters, mm -hmm. I'll let you do your shit. And I'll stand from a distance and watch how the police handles you. Because to be quite honest, black and brown people have been fucking guinea pigs and on the front lines for our soldier and our armies and our militaries for fucking hundreds of years. Oh God. And white people have been seeing us slaughter to break yep. a wall for them. Yep. Now, if white people want to do it, please jump in, homie. Be that wall. I'll watch from a distance. Real but shit, also, bro. But also, if you're in my crowd, follow my lead. But if yep. you're stepping in front, I'll watch and I'll see what happens after that. And if you did something good, thank you very much. But if, that, if, if you do some reckless shit that's going to put us in a predicament, that's you over there. I appreciate yeah. you causing that havoc, but I don't need that. And yeah. so that, that's my take on that shit. My, my take on it is, look, I... Look, I embrace it. I embrace it. Mm -hmm. White folks, oh, you want to come step in and, and, and fight for our rights right now? Yeah, yeah. Come on in. You feel me? Because the fact of the matter is, at the end of the day, the treatment that we have received, the treatment that we have received has always been unfair. Mm -hmm. And if you're anybody that has a fucking heart, that has any compassion, bro, Anybody, bro, if I ask you a question like, do you think slavery was fair, bro? I don't care if you was black or white, bro. Like, anybody with a compassion, anybody with compassion, bro, is going to know that that shit was not right. You feel me? Yep. So if I see a white person that understands that and, and embraces that, then what I do know is now that white person has a whole nother level of privilege that I don't have. And what I'm hoping is that they will use their privilege to reach out to the other motherfuckers that is making this shit unfair for the rest of us here in America. And that's how I feel about it. I, I, saw, I, saw, that, I saw a crazy example of that now that I'm thinking about it. I'm not going to get into details, but it was crazy. And you just made me think about it. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Well, thank you for that. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I, 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 I mean, hopefully, I, hopefully it I was it, 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 to, to be to be real with you. I was. I feel like I was there with Twitter. you, Forty. I saw it too. I, I, I was like, I was flipping through my Twitter timeline, and this little sleazy girl that I follow on my timeline sleazy. was like, you know, I I see that what's going to happen this weekend, and it makes me want to have a conversation with my 
potentially racist pets. And right. we'll just leave it at that. I was right. just like, there was no sleaze. It was, I was like, this just, just, da -da -da, da -da -da, da -da -da, and I was just like, oh. Real shit, bro. Like, man. Use, use your brain, baby. Use your Come on, your brain. If you, Go if you for think, it. If you think about the, yeah, bro, if you think about the motherfuckers that, 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 that we help make rich, that black people during slavery help gain a fortune, bro. They don't give a fuck about nothing else, bro. You know what I mean? It's not until they de it's not until they dead and gone, bro. That hopefully that you would hope that their generation or whoever the fuck they gave birth to, they gonna Gosh. eventually they gonna eventually try to teach them their ways. You feel yeah. me? But if you have any fucking common sense and you are seeing what is happening in America, hopefully deep down in your heart. If you are not a fucking wicked person, bro, you will or a weenie. Have, you will have compassion to understand that the shit that we are going through is unfair. Yeah. And I, and that's all I'm hoping for. I'm hoping to like I'm praying to God that there are fucking people out there that have compassion because if you have compassion and you see what the fuck is going on, like you will fucking understand what side you need to be on. Yeah. Stevo Question on the cops, or I'm sorry, not the cops, but white folks, right? Like, what do you think about white folks stepping in? I mean, I can I, I can agree with uh, JP and you know Mr. Forty. Uh, um, uh, there's uh, you know white folks that that do you know are gonna start to feel like you know what's going on is wrong, you know, and they're gonna come out and I mean, for me, like I feel like if they come out to support, then even better, right? Like, that's how you're going to start changing people's minds and perspectives, you know. And um, I know it's, it's not going to happen fast, but, I mean, it's, it's a start, you know. Yeah, I'll, get, I'll give you an example real quick. You know what I mean? Not to, you know, be all long-winded and shit. But it's the example that I use with fucking, um, what's my boy's name? Uh, Mike Rubin, right? And Meek Mill. When he found out about the whole Meek Mill situation, if you don't know the story, you know, look into it. But Meek Mill has been fucking on probation since he was like 16 years old. And he ended up going to jail, you know what I mean, for fucking popping a willy in like New York or some shit, right? And he's good friends with Mike Rubin, who's like part owner of the 76ers, you know what I mean? And when he heard that story, he was like, ah, oh, what? You went to jail for popping a willy? No fucking way. Like, oh, you got a felony for this? No way. And it wasn't until he went to court with him and saw that like, this is what he was being convicted of. But Mike Rubin, I don't know what his race <laughs> is, but you know, he's not a black man. I would say he's more of a white man. He experienced that situation firsthand and he decided to make a change. You know what I mean, he decided to get involved and because of that, you know what I mean, Meek Mill was able to get out of his situation and finally able to get in front of the judges that he needed to get in front of to finally get off of probation. That's no, the kind of example that I'm old, talking about. Is old money messing with new old money? Right. Like that's, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like on that situation, it's almost like we need the like grandchildren or great grandchildren of the people that have been controlling the money, the power and all that shit to be like, no. Nah. I'm going to protect my friend over here. Oh, God. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And if you got to take it to court and be like, oh, well, I know you know my family, but I'm going to protect this homie over here and I want him to be free. That's what it's like, gentlemen. And so that's what it's going to take, right? And yeah, so like my fingers are crossed on that. No shit, right? And I think that's, what, that's what's happening. And that's what's happening in the streets, gentlemen, right now, right? People are not trusting that our fingers are crossed. And so they're oh, taking shit. action into their own hands, right? And that's what has 40 right there on that screen. But gentlemen, as we close the show, that's in, that's in DC. All right, forty. Give I'm me a sorry. second. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, I'm what's sorry. the inside? What's the inside? Now give us give us a quick update on that. They they just looting and just busting windows and just tearing tearing ass in DC down. Like it just it looks like it escalated beyond them talking to the police and they just tearing the shit up around there and cops are chasing them down. I I. I I'm just, it's just, I, I want to see, it, I want to see it go to the next level. Yeah. <coughs> Come on, 
again as who that nigga out there? Are you smoking a blunt over there, right? No, no. <laughs> I was, I was the Fuck people. around and have these people thinking niggas on the COVID over there. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. Nigga can't even sneeze. Hey, nigga can't even sneeze around here anymore, bro. I was I saw him, I saw him there and basically said, I got a fart to cover up my coughs now. God damn. So, oh God, bro. Like a nigga can't even see. Like nigga, fuck our allergies, nigga. Niggas is like, nah, bro. That's COVID, bro. Like, nah. Yeah. Hey, so you're, you're saying you hold your sneezes in, JP? Uh, man, <laughs> that's some nasty shit right there, man. If I need to sneeze, I'm gonna sneeze, bro. What you mean, bro? Hey, gentlemen, as we as we close this show, oh, you yeah. know, I, I, hey, on a on a fucking lighter note, right? But on a real note, right? We can't sneeze. We can't breathe. We can't do a lot of shit right now. But oh, we, we, a lot of shit on this show, right? A lot of shit, and rightfully so. We didn't get on everything, right? But we did talk about a lot of stuff, but we talked about the fact that what does it look like to pick a side, right? You all brought up the fact that it's about teaching your children. It's about changing that culture. It's about drawing, that the line's been drawn on the ground. Now who's going to step across it, right? And like you say, 40, you're kind of excited, but at the same thing, you're like, you want to see how far it goes, right? Yep. JP? You talk about the fact that who we need our allies to be are the only ones that can literally protect us, right? And that's the police, right? And that's kind of the, the point that I want to close my show, right? Is that you spoke on JP, if any cops are here right now, is to really think about this shit. Because this is the point that, that, I, that, I, that I brought up to you all earlier, is that it's clear. It's a consensus right now. This country's racist. Not everybody in this country's racist. But the people that control policy, law, money, governance, police, facts, racist. It's very the greater true. majority. The greater majority. And so we're getting to a point now where I don't believe and you all don't believe that they're going to admit that they've done wrong. So at one point in time, the powers that be are going to have to admit that they're racist and they're going to have to try to maintain that power. And they're going to use the police to enforce that shit. And my, my point is this, right? If you are a police officer, if you are somebody that has decision-making power, what is it going to take? At what point are you going to make that decision to stand on the right side of history, right? Yep. To stand on the side of the people. And to understand that you're a fucking pawn in all this shit. Because whether... That racist motherfucker that killed George Floyd was put on to do this shit. Or whether he did it on his own, he's fucking done. He's fucking oh, yeah. done. Oh, yeah. Hey, by the, by the way, shout out to the police chief in Minneapolis, man, because he came out off Jump Street and was like, oh, go get his fun. ass. <laughs> go get his ass. Nah, like, whoever the, whoever the, the fucking boss was that fired them niggas immediately yeah that nigga needs some some flowers right here and that's but he had but he but they also asked for him he asked for him to be arrested like he went to like publicly went to prosecutors like go get him oh for go real? get him i didn't yeah. know that all, yeah. all off top and so this is what i'm saying gentlemen is that no matter what we could talk about how we feel and where we are, where we stand on that line. But again, we reference this, this shit on this show. We are not the ones that could protect us right now. We will put up a damn fight. And I believe we'll make some fucking progress. But at the end of the day, it is also the police that could protect us by not doing this shit anymore. And so that's the people that I'm talking to. I'm saying that at one point in time, what are you going to choose to go on the side of the people and stop pushing this shit? Because at the end of the day, these cops have to go home and deal with their kids and their families. And they got to be asking them, bro, are you doing this? Is it true what I'm seeing on social media? Mm -hmm. And these homies got to put on that uniform every fucking day. I and that, that and my shit is this. At what point do you understand you're a fucking pawn? And like I made that reference to the homie that murdered George Floyd. You might think you're the shit. You might think you're in your right. You might go to jail and honor yourself and say, I killed that man. But you're fucking done, bro. You're a fucking pawn. Right. You will no longer have a free life. You can no longer go in public, bro, where there are people of color. 
Yeah. And so what good did it fucking do you? Yeah. And so hey, that's, that's a shit that I'm saying to all police officers. I got, I got one, I got one last thing to say. Just like, just keep in mind the fact that I no threats, no disrespect to, no disrespect to anybody wearing a badge. But if you still trying to figure out what side you on, they found his address and were in front of his house in a heartbeat. Yeah. He needed I'm not saying that they're going to start targeting people, but if you're on the wrong side, you're putting a target on yourself. And I, no threats. No, 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 no. disrespect. And, and and that's not the that's point. That's what you're doing. No, and that's not the point of this show, right? The point no, of this show none is, at all. Not, is not to incite violence, is not to fucking say you fucked up. It, let's have a conversation. But if I'm talking to Please. police officer right now, I'm saying, bro. Is it worth it? Is it worth it? Is it worth it? Is it worth it for you to continue to fuck with people this way to the point that you know that if you have to represent that blue wall and you you do some shit for your blue wall, that there will be a fucking sea of people outside of your fucking house. Is it worth it for, for, for you that will never get anything, anything out of this fucking criminal justice system? You might get promoted, bro, but not your children. Not your wife, not your family. So is it worth it to keep fucking with people this way when you know that you're that shit's racist? And so flashback, y'all. Splashback. That's what I'm saying. It's all, is, is it always flashback. No, no, look it. No disrespect to the people that I know that are my friends that are police, but I'm talking to you all too, homies. Is this shit worth it? And I don't think it is. And and we made it very clear on this on this show. You are probably the only ones that can protect us right now from this racism because you are the ones that are being told to execute this force. And like people have referenced a young man from fucking Minnesota that said, we didn't do this. The police made us do this. Right. Yeah. And the homegirl and the homegirl, and I forget the sister's name. And if somebody could give me the name, the homegirl that was in front lines and in, in the protest, she said that you taught us that the, that the police, this, this country taught us violence. Right. Yeah. Please, please let's shout out her name. I can't I'm outside right now. Other people oh, oh, like oh, I got it. What is it, brother? Tamika Mallory. Okay, let's let's Tamika do it Mallory. right. All right, so Tamika right. Mallory, so, bro. Sh so Tamika shout out Mallory. to Yeah. So Tamika Mallory and, and and I and I don't know the name of the young buck, but look at this is what I say. Also think to that young buck in in in, in Minnesota that spoke up. You gotta protect young men like that. Because we've seen this shit happen before, where young men get in front on top of cars, in front of cameras, and they, they motivate us to still fight this fight because they give us that spirit. They get murdered by police too. Damn yeah, right. And they get covered up as suicides, right? So we have to also protect those very young, energetic fire starters that are young black and brown, young men and women that are in the front lines in front of cameras because they're feeling themselves too. But we got to protect them, too, because they, 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 people, get, people get tracked down. And so, gentlemen, we're going to close the show right there. Where can people find you on social media? Oh, there's a sign, Steve-O. You go first. You catch me on social media at Instagram at this is Steve-O, T-H-I-I-Z-S-S-T-E-V-O. Okay. You can catch me, 40, on uh, Instagram at Mr. Dot, the number 4, O-R-T-Y. And on Twitter, you can catch me at 40 underscore Y M M C. I also want to just say shout out to Unicorn Riot and uh, all of the rest of the uh, independent news, serve, news feed servers, those that are out there hitting the tear gas and just on the front line getting this so that we can watch it and see what's really going on from their perspective. And you can holler at your boy, man, Jacques Payne 87. That's J A C Q U E S P A I N 87. And you catch me, Mr. C, on the Yumi and Mr. C show on Instagram and also on our YouTube channel. Catch us at the Yumi and Mr. C show. Gentlemen, we got to mention this. I'm turning 36 this Monday. Right. Oh, yeah. So Turn after this, fuck up. hey, after this, shots on me, gentlemen. Hey, all right, let's go. All right, for you all, we're not. You're not gonna take a shot with us. You all catch us on YouTube, like, subscribe. But for the rest of us, gentlemen, after this show, let's have subscribe. one on me. Yeah, you got it. You got all right, gentlemen. Have a good night. You all have a good night. Thank you for joining us. Peace out. Peace out. Peace. Peace.